Hello and welcome to Michigan again. <laughs> again, if you can believe it. And the Indy car this time. Uh, we're just about to hop into qualifying. Um, it's uh, usual. Not too uh, experienced in the Indy car. So, um, chances uh, for some mistakes here, as usual. I mean, that could be said about any race I'm in, but. Um, Gonna be learning some stuff. Uh, I think I want to put the weight jack up about two. That seemed to be a good, comfortable split, uh, place for it while I was uh, practicing. I believe the uh, first lap's gonna be a throwaway. Because we're not quite up to speed yet. I don't think it's possible to get up to speed quite yet, so it's gonna be nice and easy for now. And then the next lap by is when we're really going to go for it. So I got my uh, static wheel on. I actually meant to have the the bar there transparent. I'll go and fix that because that's a new option we have. One more lap. Be very careful when transitioning down here. Feel it turning. Oh, uh oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> what did I just say? Be careful on the scenes. <laughs> and I wasn't careful on the scenes, no, was I? So I guess we're gonna get a stinky lap. Oh well. Um, about a lap of fuel left. So at least I'll uh, do another green flag pit stop test. Uh, the fuel's low, so that's why it's extra on edge. Because it automatically takes the fuel out for you for qualifying. But uh, you, these little seams on the track can uh, cause some big upset with this thing. With the, the old spaceship here. Straights, obviously, it's fine, but like get here, and then especially like this one down here can really mess with you. Ooh, okay, could have gone a little harder there, but that's fine. Alright, so, not a good qualifying lap. We're probably going to be at the back of those who qualified, if I had to guess. Well, ahead of a couple people. Uh, big field, 24 cars. So, let's see. I can't really compare, like, what my lap could have been, because I think, you know, draft, right? That's probably what the, my best times in practice were and stuff. So, not really sure where I would have ended up being, but... Um, that makes me actually want to change my... What you call it? Weight jacker back. Probably just back to zero. Maybe my eyes got a little too greedy. <laughs> Guys got wide open like, hey, I can do something crazy here. Nah. <laughs> like, I'm going to probably put the... Uh, Weight jacker back to zero then, so I don't spin myself out when the uh, car starts getting lighter. The uh, little difference it makes probably isn't going to help me all that too much anyway. Um, obviously, with just about any IndyCar track, except for maybe the real short ones, um, draft is a big deal. And uh, this is a big one. This is a big track. Uh, it's I don't know why it's Michigan week on iRacing, but... It sure is. We got IndyCar here. We've got the trucks here. We've got Xfinity here. I think uh I think that like maybe even the cup car or something. Not the next gen, which is now the cup car. Well no, because there is no I don't know. I think the next gen A car is at uh Atlanta, maybe. But uh just seems like everything's at Michigan this week. So this is going to be a little scary um, for me. This thing. Um, and car. Okay, it's back to zero. We're fine. We need uh, a little bit more force feedback in there so I could feel it a little better as it starts to spin out on me. We'll be starting B11. So we're going to have to be real careful on the inside here while... Uh, near that seam that tries to kill us. Even on the front straight, uh, that seam there can really get your 
vehicle upset. So, gotta watch out for that. Um, as is usual with my experience with IndyCar, uh, the main goal is not to wreck. Not to wreck myself. Uh, probably best to try to avoid other wrecks as well, <laughs> but sometimes you can't really do much about that. But, um... Yeah, don't spin myself and cause a big, big pileup. That's kind of the main goal. Unfortunately, I'm a four car, so my expectations are high, but... Are, you know, the expectations of me are high, but I don't think uh, I'm going to be able to meet those. Top ten would be phenomenal. Oh, excuse me while I yawn. Hmm. Alright, so just uh, under 30 seconds here before we can uh, start rolling. If we want to green on the track this big, so no, uh, not too much waiting around. As usual, this is a uh, one of the exceptions to the fixed series rule, there are where uh, you will have to get the fuel right. at some point during the race, whether it's under caution or under green flag stop. Lap, track temp is 97 Fahrenheit. The air temp is 78 Fahrenheit. So I'll have to watch out for that. Tires don't seem to be too big of a deal. I did a lot of practice, and it seemed like after all my long runs, it really didn't seem like they were too worn. But I could be wrong. It's just, uh... That is just my first impression. Let's have a good clean race here, guys. No, 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 no. No clean. Bidding, bang, big bang. Yeah, Got the pit limiter on hey, in the Indy car because on, good luck, my friend, that's actually a real oh, thing. Good race. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the screen issue. Pit road is closed. Forgot to make the pillar transparent. Hello, it's more realistic this way, at least. Um, I was kind of iffy whether I wanted to bother with it or not. I feel like it, it, it doesn't block all that much. I mean, it blocks enough. It could block, like, a single car if they're distant enough, so... <laughs> could be a problem, but... Yeah, I guess especially right now, it kind of shows, like, you can't see things far away. But uh, that's how it is in real life. Yeah, Field's still trying to reach us. Indy card, as usual, notorious for, Sorry about that. you know, to playing green. the Benny Hill theme whenever we're trying to pace. Get a good view. Looks like we're off. Gonna go ahead and stay away from that scene, because it terrifies me. That guy's scaring me already. Inside. Clear inside. All right. Car inside. Guys, coming on my inside already. Clear. Yeah, leave it to the novice to forget arrow pushes a thing immediately. I can wheel out of alignment. Feels fine. Yeah, let me just forget like the entire thing about IndyCar immediately in the first corner. Or in one of the first corners. Hey, 22, if I go high, you're going to put me in the wall again? I don't think we got damage. I'm so dumb. <laughs> This is why, like, IndyCar is just a whole different thing. The car inside. Man, You're it's just like... Uh, I'll see if we can catch a caution or something at some point and maybe fix it. But it's not turning very well anymore. Because it's all it takes is a little wall tap. And uh, suddenly you've got a car that doesn't work quite right anymore. That's embarrassing. It just it didn't turn. <laughs> I'm too focused on not spitting myself out. Got to think about the dirty air. 
Uh, clearly I should have been thinking about the dirty air. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Hmm. All right. Well, we're probably gonna fall all the way back, but uh, hopefully, if uh, we do get a caution, we'll be able to uh, fix this. I know these things don't fix all that well, but I feel like it was such a light tap. Maybe they can realign whatever's not aligned. So we almost got destroyed there. Probably gonna go green now, though. <laughs> go figure, that's kind of how it seems to work. It's just super tight now. I guess I could, uh... Up the weight jacker. Yeah, let's make it more unstable for the guy who can't drive. That guy's going high, I guess. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Andy Carr is a whole different language that I don't speak. You can put it that way. I'm trying to learn, but I still make some basic errors. What's happening in the living room? There's weird noises coming from the living room over there. I wonder if that's being caught on the recording. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It sounds like a mechanical T Rex. Um, you know, we're just watching them drive away in the distance, disappearing behind the non transparent bar I have up in front of me. Need a caution, or we're gonna finish basically last. Was this guy's taking some like fuel strategy or something. That's why he's back here. Maybe he's got damage as well. No clue. He might realize soon enough though that he doesn't actually want to be behind me. This is going to end up pretty darn boring if uh, this is what the whole thing's like. Didn't get any X or incident points uh, from hitting the wall at least. It's just a baby tap, but it's all it takes. You're going over 200. <laughs> and uh, you're an open wheel. So we don't seem close to being lapped yet. Rough pace, but not quite that off pace yet. They're getting farther and farther away. We're just running around in fourth gear at this point. Maybe this will end up being a good thing. Maybe there will be a big wreck up there that we wouldn't have uh, been able to avoid. Now we're back here. Caution will come out. We'll be able to avoid it, get it fixed, and then uh, we'll be okay. Could be. 
Or it could go green. <laughs> we don't know yet, do we? Where'd it go? I think he's gone, man. You gotta blink out. Did I just get I a free spot? I just hit my hitler, man. Gonna show up on our uh, relative here pretty soon, I think. They're so far away. They're gonna be uh, more than halfway across the track. Okay, Colton. Lap times are pretty consistent. This ten is saving fuel. I wonder how much he's gonna be able to save. If that what is truly what he's doing, because he's getting our draft too. We're kind of benefiting him if that's his plan. Not sure, that's pretty off pace though. Sorry, I lost my screen. I lost the screen, that's scary. Oh! Line up, single file. Close, pit road is closed. Alright, there's caution we needed. So I guess the screen blinked out, I guess. What I understand. That stinks. Sorry guys, that a problem. Out. So TJ's not back, but it never booted him from the server, right? Okay, fuel tires, fixed damage. We might be okay. We'll find out. Oh, you got beat, dude. What'd he do? He hit the wall in the lead and all that like that. Probably not paying attention, and uh, they told him he needed a pivot for repairs, and then he had like no damage, so. Oh, that Where are we? Can we go? I'm coming in hot. Look at this, it's so funny how consistently bad IndyCar drivers are at pacing. Like, come on, let's go. I, I'm not, like, I'm not in a position to gain spots because I have to fix damage, but, like, wow. Why are we so far back? Just rolling. <laughs> I just don't get it. <sighs> it's, it's funny. It really is. Go spread out! It's so funny! So funny. <sighs> They're all petting on the left hand side. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Box in a 5, 13.4 gallons. 3, 2, 1. Box now. Countdown. <laughs> Alright, 22.4. We'll be able to get that fixed. Hopefully the car will be fine after that. Yeah, guys, align those wheels. You can do it. I believe in you. Look at them, aligning the wheel. How you guys doing over here? Are you aligning those wheels? Right on. That's what I pay you for. That's what the sponsors pay you for, anyway. Where's See ya. God, I hope this thing's fixed now. You only have one tire debt remaining. Line up, Tires five. were Just at 88, 92. Kind of lower than I thought. Glad that we got those. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down the spin out instigator. And, uh, we've got a new beginning here. Sort of. <laughs> here we are, back back here. Uh, I guess we're saving 
Saving fuel is what we're doing. That's why people are. That's a lot of fuel to save, though. 5.2 gallons? Can we engine map it? Like, what happens if I do that? Is this a tire or a fuel saving race? See how low we can get it. Oops. Hey guys, are you in the camp? I guess if I wanted to do fuel save, I should have gone in. But whatever. I, I, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Four point seven gallons. Hey, yes sir, me too. Back the yes. Oh, no, I don't think we're saving that much. I think I want to take advantage of the people that are choosing to try to save that much. Could be wrong. Four point eight gallons. Cause I don't think we're making it that far. 4.8 gallons is so much to save. <laughs> We're all spread out. About to go green. Stay focused. Crunching up a little bit. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Who's going? Where you're going. Inside. Still there. 16 clear. Points. Car inside. Still inside. Is this guy blocking? Inside. What's happening here? Clear. What are you doing? Outside. Got damage or something? In the middle, Great. Still there, still there. Outside, too wide. Clear high. <sighs> well, that was scary. Outside. Still there. Clear outside. I want to turn. I need more weight jack in for real. Like, that's crazy. Oh my flipping god. Jesus Christ. That was so unnecessary. I just chop my nose off for no reason. Holy cow. I pooped myself there. Alright. Lots of thing that happened. <sighs> I have a history with that guy too. He's a nincompoop. I just don't understand how to drive this thing, I guess. Getting close to the wall up there. So bad at this. It won't turn. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. 
putting the weight jacker in it. fake calamity in front of us. Okay, blinking out. I mean, I guess I might still have damage, like it might still be affecting me, but I'm not gonna make that excuse. I'm gonna assume that I'm just this bad. I'm assuming that it's all fixed, because I don't think I am much better than what we're seeing here. A big pack in front of us, so you can definitely feel the arrow push. Just, uh, I gotta respect the uh, dirty air more, I guess. Lift more than I think I need to. Way too much that I'm thinking I'm gonna get arrow push. I just have a lot to learn. I do not understand these empty cars, man. One second you're pushing tight, and the next you're sideways. I don't. I don't know, man. We're halfway in the right. It doesn't help that I don't get to learn in an environment with people of similar beginning skill either. Like I get thrown into top split here as a low number, <laughs> and so I'm like floundering to try to learn it while everybody in here is better than me. Oh, Maybe we do try saving fuel. Three point nine gallons. We'll listen to hear what this new engine map does to change all that. Try to shift less if possible. Okay. Uh, even the uh, blink outs are more spectacular in IndyCar. Holy cow, Belmore! Thought we had a wreck at first. 3.9 gallons. Holy Toledo! Doesn't sound like we're saving any, on, even on the different engine map. Belmar, can you keep it on the track there, bud? Okay, oh. Okay. Apron is not a good line through the corner. It's not even improving how many gallons we need. I 
But that's what the en engine map was supposed to do. Let's help improve the fuel economy here. Water temperature. I expect to hear that. Where's the water temperature getting high? Because we need 3.8 gallons, that's too much to save still. What if I put this one on? 3.4 gallons. That one, this one's like the extreme, like only use under yellow flag conditions. Yellow map. I don't think we're saving enough. I'm just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to pay again. Oh well, I'm trying things. Yellow flag. There's a caution. They want you in single file. That's a weird pit entry there. Oh, that's Valmar. Left up 24 carbides. You had to put this when the yellow flag came out. Here's some carnage. Sir, don't turn off the steering wheel. Ah, okay. 3.1 gallons. Well, I got me got them in. Get the fuel, get the tires. Well, we might not uh, finish completely dead last, at least, since uh, people are crashing out, but... <laughs> Pretty bad performance so far. Overall. A little safe on fuel. Apparently I crash when it's low on fuel anyway, so... The leader is pitting now. Watch your speed. Okay, we'll fill you to the end. Box in, a five. Four, three, two, one. Box now. Right. And you guys crazy. Move it, move it. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. You are out of time. <laughs> this is just my most embarrassing race I've ever posted. But you know what? I'm gonna post it. That's what's gonna happen. <laughs> so, my thought process there was, it seems like previously I'd gotten out of the box so slowly, so I'm like, okay, I'll put a little bit of revs in it, and maybe I'll get out of the box a little quicker. Well, I got out of the box a little quicker. I guess you can say that, but I went the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Alright, so we got our engine map. We've got uh, enough fuel to make it to the end, as long as we uh, are careful with it. <laughs> oh yeah, let's uh, do this thing. Yeah. One to go. Next time by. Put on caution fuel. It's blinky guy, I guess. I was already like in last, so me making my mistake didn't really do anything in terms of losing track position or anything because I didn't have track position to begin with. So it's fine. You got loads. <sighs> I 
don't know how to be fast. I don't know how to pass. I'll move this down too since we have fresh tires again. You got plenty of fuel. So we got plenty of fuel. It seems to be fluctuating a lot though. So that's interesting. Put this back before I forget. Get out of sixth gear before I forget here in a moment. We don't lose the draft. Seems like that group that we were behind lost the draft pretty soon because, I mean, I can't imagine why. It's not like we're a half a lap behind the leader right now or anything. Get ready, going green. Pipe car is off. Green, green, green. Yes, yeah, don't go. See what we can do. Probably not much. I'm ready for that arrow push this time, though. That guy wasn't. Keeping up at least. Trying to stay under the dirty air, maybe. Get lower than those guys. Just stuck so far back. Kind of running that seam, you better be careful. You can get kind of weird. Or maybe most people can do it, and I'm just not good. <laughs> oh, we're losing them for some reason. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what I'm doing differently. Hold the wheel straighter. Maybe I do have remnants of damage still? I don't know. I don't know why I'm falling behind now. Did I lose the draft? I have no idea what's going on. Why did I fall back? I guess we have to hope for more wrecks. I just don't have speed though, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm flat foot the whole way around the or around the place, I don't know what else I can do. This guy behind us is catching now. <laughs> Sound like they're trying to crash. I got my attention. <laughs> oh, this guy's diving in, I guess. Clear. Didn't really uh, make a pass, though.
Wow, this is a uh, this is really boring. Guys, thirteen to go. Can you guys cool it? Yeah, you guys are a little crazy. No, no, be crazy. Need all the help I can get here. Yeah, well, kinda. Just to see what's going on there. Kitchen slap down guy. That doesn't help me all that much, except maybe some draft. spun it because of it. Yeah, it's like we never even fixed the damage. I mean, it doesn't feel tight anymore, but it's still slow. Or I'm slow. Well, oh, too. Time for them to have a caution. Only got ten laps to go. Coming up here. Got ten laps to go. Well, I want to try to upload more races, but this is just straight up boring. I don't know if anyone even wants to see this. Clear. That guy like must be super tight or something. Like he might be putting his weight drag in the wrong direction. <laughs> Or something, because like when he tries to make the pass, he just like loses every bit of momentum when he tries to go lower and just he goes back a hundred thousand feet. The yellow flag is out. Hey, hey. Single file. Pit road is closed. more free Start stuff. This guy in second and third. Catch up, six, Wings fly off, but it's still on, Dylan. I definitely got a 4x and come to over there. position when the yellow flag came out. Catch up, 24 car. Mark it tell you it's still there. 24. We're under caution. What did you say? I I didn't fully hear you, Jeff. What? So here's the thing. I seen it get knocked off of your car in the rear window. I'm not going to be able to keep up with them unless I'm able to push through the arrow push a little bit better. I didn't feel anything and then the 4x like I'm not going to be able to do that without not worried, but some more. Let me know. Weight jacker in it. Yeah, We're just gonna have to risk it, I guess. Yeah, it's one of those eye racing glitches where you think someone's wrecked and they're fine. Shows people up different things than they see. It's hard to do. It was a matter of time before something happened, but of course, some straight away. Oh, yeah. I'm 15th now. Adam did a hell of a save. You can't go down there, but I mean, he made a good save. Catch up, 24 car. Pit road's open. Full course yellow. Pits are open. You got loads of fuel. No tires left, so no reason to go in the pits. I don't think I would anyway, just for the sake of track position. Oh, we got more damage guys up there, assuming they weren't already left down, so maybe that's another spot. Oh, and he and this guy as well. Catch up. Save tires down. still. Hey, this might not turn out so bad after all. Said a top 10 would be phenomenal. I still don't think we're going to get there, but we're getting a little closer. Just a little every time. They have another wreck, like uh, approaching the end of the race, and they can't finish their pacing. Might uh, sneak in there, completely undeserved. So I do think I am just the worst performer, the slowest car on the track this whole race. And I'm not so sure if it's if it's even because I hit the wall earlier. Sorry, y'all dig again.
But so I think at this point, another caution would probably end the race, right? Unless it was immediate, maybe? No, I think it would end the race. Jet stop, 19, Sorry, Alright, so assuming we're actually in 14th, we'll be on the outside. Or wait, it's single file, isn't it? IndyCar, never mind. Everyone's on the outside. <laughs> wow, 13th. Completely undeserved. Just guys that have wrecked. And we've been so far back. <laughs> if it, I couldn't have been in the wreck if I wanted to. These pace slaps sure feel slow though when you're used to going 210. Suddenly you're going interstate speed. Be interesting to see, uh, because it sounds like they were being aggressive already. People were, uh, yelling about that. And they're only gonna get more aggressive with only five laps to go. Face between the green car up there, they look like they're reeling it in now. We're bunched up than it has been in previous starts. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. Five left to go. Three thirteen. I'm careful on these seams and such. I gotta remember my weight jackers up. I just I don't know how to navigate this dirty air. I don't know how it how to do it. I have that knowledge. Why well, I'm trying. Trying that guy's trying to get by me. Clear Need to be uh, more on top of my shifts. I think I've messing those up a bit. Come on, turn, Jesus! Inside. I hate this car, man. Still there, still there, inside. Okay, still inside. Clear. Oh, I'm terrible. So frustrating. Two left to go. Two to go. Outside. No idea where you are. Speaking of frustrating. Hey, look, they're trying to wreck. There in the front. Last lap. It's the last lap too, so there's not going to be a caution. I don't think. And the pile drive each other. Come on, Gap. Navigate it. Navigate the mess. Okay. Yeah, Gap can't run down there. Yeah, we'll look out of here too. <laughs> Where are we gonna end up finishing now? Yeah, we were three wide. I couldn't really go higher. What a mess of a race. P12. 
well. <laughs> Not good, but so much better than I deserved. It's been my best finish in a while, so kind of just frustrating. All right, well, <laughs> that was my poor attempt at IndyCar. Hmm. Was it 50? Get ready for the incidents here. 12 of 24, directly in the middle. Not what uh, I should have gotten, but I guess I ended up right about where I started. I guess I could have went a little higher, but we were three. Hmm. Yeah, if I could have went higher, but yeah, you really shouldn't be down there. Let's see what happened. There's me. Is this me hitting the wall? Yeah. That's all it took. I just, uh, I, I entered high and, uh, forgot about arrow push. So I don't do this very often. And then by the time I realize, it's already too late. Before, uh, I realize that I need to be, uh, lifting for arrow push. I, you know, I'm completely off the gas right here. Jeff, I'm it's already down. too late. Sabotage myself. Yeah, I'm not quite good yet. Thinking. Yeah, I'm watching teams. I don't really think it did anything, to be honest. It's just, I saw you leaving down the front because you get loose down there, and so yeah, I just kind of right you, you messed up, and I think I just came down. Yeah. It was, it was tight. I, I didn't, I thought I had less room on my right, and, and I did. Yeah, yeah, you're right. There's no need to be down there, and I was loose. But yeah, it was what? I'm listening to these guys yeah, talk about their it. issue. It's the pride. It's surprisingly cool. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I actually thought that was the last lap. <laughs> I didn't know the white come out. I thought that was the finish. Ooh. I wish you thought it was. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was down there. Yeah, sure, bud. Hmm, that's some serious yeah, arrow push. Oh man, then it got loose and hit the wall. It was a caution, I believe, wasn't it? Maybe not, maybe they just lit up down there. Yeah, it looked like he just turned down a little early and took it off. It happened. The end of the race. This guy's blinking a lot, so he's showing up quite a few times. Yeah, I thought I had left room in my right, and seeing me leave and all, I just, I don't mm. know, I should have been more right. And he gets cut off there. Yeah. My bad. We stuck on this guy that's blinking now. No yeah, problem, we're good. Too bad. It would appear so. Oh, nope. Maybe we're free. Huh? What? What was that? That's equipment failure. You can tell by the way the wheel like turns sharp left like that. Right here. It just turns sharp left. They've got like equipment failure. Wow. Look, they're still turning hard left. So like a wire disconnected or something. That sucks. For both of them. 15-2 being an innocent bystander. And trying to make a move out to the right, and there was no move on, out to the right to make. There was no room there. Let's force a three wide, where there was no room for it. Oh my god! What a crash! What a crash! It caught air. That was really weird, but also, like... <laughs> These cars kind of do that in real life, where they kind of like fly a little bit when the air gets under them. Doesn't quite look like that, but. <laughs> it's the incident they were talking about. Hmm. I mean. One probably thought he was on the lowest line, and that's why he was yelling at him for being like, why are you down there? But 
This guy held his line perfectly fine. Oh, that's exactly what happened. That's why he's thinking he... He's thinking he went down here. Because he started the lane here. So he's thinking he's going to go here. So he's like, okay, I'm going to go down here. But this guy stays in this lane. And he moves down. So when they connected, the one's assuming that this guy slid up and hit him. And he's like, you can't go down there. You're not going to make it stick. But in reality, he moved down and hit him because the expectation is you're going to go from one land to the next as you turn into the corner. So that's kind of just an unfortunate, unfortunate racing incident, in my opinion, where, like, guys didn't know where the other guy was going to be. That really sucks. Not for me and my slow dump truck of a car getting 12th when it did not deserve it. I'm probably going to lose I-rating and stuff still, but holy cow, did I not deserve that at all. I finished ahead of the 1, 2, and 3, so maybe I won't lose much I-rating at all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really care too much. I, I go into these races not expecting to have a great result, but... Ooh, that was rough. Um, ended up kind of being a boring race. I made some embarrassing mistakes. Uh... But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and upload it anyway. Because uh, that's how it goes sometimes. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, I feel like I learned some things about uh, IndyCar. Um, how to deal with weight jacker and uh, the seams. How big they affect the car here at Michigan. Learned a lot about specifically Michigan in this car. Um, where the track is slick and stuff. So, it was a lot of learning here. And I uh, got a 0x, so, I mean, that counts for something, too. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.